see. Um, what's your favorite B movie actor? Favorite what? B movie actor. Oh, Bruce Campbell, of course. <laughs> Jeremy Irons. <laughs> no, I, I, I love Bruce Campbell like everybody loves uh, Bruce Campbell. I hate people that are like, Review Evil Dead is supposed to be stupid. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, movies that are meant to be bad, I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna do like Attack of the Killer Tomatoes or anything like that. Like, come on, people. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's my uh, Let's see, weird triple things on your head. <laughs> You're a turkey. <laughs> Cosmic. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not, I'm a chicken, you're a turkey. I got a legit question. Okay. <laughs> what is the true meaning of history behind all the no vibes, no Venus, and Bebe's game? <laughs> <laughs> I, I just get this image of like Venus and Bloodhead made in that game. It's just like, huh? let's get your name on this, Bebe's. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm not, uh, no vibes, because I, I think it's popular. Oh, no, it's not. Let's just put it in because nobody will get it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Yes, the third adorable one. Oh, oh that's a good one. Favorite mystery science two thousand. Oh, I, I think it's a toss. Well, it's I think it's a three way toss up between Manos because that is such a difficult movie to rip. Uh, Merlin's magical shop of horrors. <laughs> And uh, Space Mutiny. All of those are. Yeah. <laughs> so fun. Um, yeah, I, I get me laughing out from all of those. Yes? Oh, yeah. Um, I knew Mae here showing oh, fun on the internet. Uh, my brother did it once and it didn't work. How do you make an internet show? Is that I just, yeah, I, I just feel like I want to do an internet show on my own. Go for it! Uh, you mean like on my website? Uh, I don't know, I just like to be the member of that guy with glasses. Well, no, no, the thing is that with uh, trying to get videos on this site, we're currently full, like, and we even have like a waiting list of people that at like one point we want to bring on, so uh, you can try and submit, it's unlikely you'll get on, if it's like something spectacular, you know, we'll get you in, but it, it's usually very unlikely. Okay, okay, last okay. If it doesn't work, can I just put my videos on Cinemassacre? Wait, <laughs> 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 sure, I'll be glad to have it. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure, man, come on, I don't even know you. Man. <laughs> 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 they try to email them, man, but it's, uh, it's, uh, even I have a hard time getting through some right. right, so, yeah. awesome. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Me? Yeah. Okay, I just got here, so I don't know if anyone's already asked this before. Well, sure. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, sorry. Everyone take a picture, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> She's a dog head! <laughs> oh, what is it? We I remember it with you. That is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Give a round of applause just for that show. Yeah. Anyway, the question I wanted to ask was, um, what is the review that, like, your opinion cannot be swayed? Like, you will stand by it no matter what. There's no room for discussion. You well, there's, can't there's change all, your mind at all. There's no room for discussion. I mean, it's like, I'll listen. Um, oh. I, a movie that everyone tries to convince me, no, this is really good. And I'm just like, it just... Not for me, it really is last action hero. I mean, uh, everyone's I mean, like, no, oh, this is good, come on, these are funny jokes. And I'm just like, maybe two or three jokes I think are funny, but I just, I felt like there's a really good idea here. It, it just got really sort of confused and lost, and it sort of wants to be a Schwarzenegger action film, but also a comedy, also a satire, but also really an action film. So, I don't know. I, uh, it didn't do anything for me, but I just despise it. You know, I, I'm just not a huge fan of it, so, um... Uh, yeah, that's what a lot of people try to get me to sway on, but I, it, it, it does not fan. Uh, let's see, yes? What have, you said, have you ever had a suggestion um, for a nostalgia critic review that you just thought was like, I really don't, you don't want to do because 
you, you had an nostalgic feeling yourself, and you're just like, you had it kind of like high up there. Like, I, I actually, I, this. I, I, my nostalgic feelings for this are getting in the way of wanting to. Tear yes, it yeah, actually, somebody said follow that bird. <laughs> <laughs> I, I couldn't do it. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I, I remember watching this album first on again, and it's like, it's well, whatever. It's Sesame Street. It's not great art, but I mean, it's just like it's big bird. <laughs> That's what I made the Bert and Ernie joke. I'm like, oh! I'm a terrible person! So, yeah, halfway through, I just made it a bummer for you. <laughs> the bum comes in, he's like, hurry! You know, get someone that, you know, can openly say he likes the movie. <laughs> uh, yes, Kiki. How many times do you have to watch it before you get Usually, we watch it once to just sort of write, you know, it's the first time we see it. Uh, we write down just the notes, the jokes at the top of our head. And I'll watch it again as I'm writing the actual script out to get like the timing down and stuff like that. Uh, maybe a third time while editing, but usually, uh, usually twice. Yeah, it's about the number, so. Insane Alley! Alright, um... <laughs> no, sorry, just, I, you, you really look like Insane Alley just here. Yeah, alright. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's like like how about you guys love my favorite anime? So what are your thoughts about okay, the like, upcoming uh, um, podcast? Keanu, it is all. Okay, like, <laughs> on board. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I, anytime I hear Keanu Reeves is in something, I'm like, oh, okay, take away two no, points. <laughs> um, I, what I would like to see with Cowboy Bebop, I would like to see actually, and I think they can do it, I'd like to see a live action show actually, and I think they can do it now, I think they have the technology, and uh, I'd like to see what they can do with that, because honestly, those characters are so good, they can't keep them in a movie, I mean, that really is something, it's like, you need a show uh, to get these, uh, to really understand these characters and really enjoy them, uh, so the idea of doing a movie, I'm not, I mean, I'll probably see it, if it looks decent, but I mean, I'm not, I'm not super excited, but I'm like, yeah, it's all. Uh, okay. No, I'm you. What is your favorite running gag? Um, what is what is my favorite running gag? I don't I don't use it that often, but for some reason the one I really like is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Especially just when the guy wakes up in that review and I just I can't, I can't, and cut to the mouse from Alice in Wonderland to the cat, the cat, the man, and I really like that. <laughs> I just had a little break up. And yeah, thanks. Um, you said that you uh, re really disliked the movie Matilda. I was wondering, did you read the book? What did you think of it? Think no, it was better or worse? I don't care. <laughs> I, I don't care if you like the book. The movie sucks. I was, I was just wondering if you thought the book no, was better. And that's something. Or... I think that is important to. No, I usually. I try to stay away from it. If there is a book, I try to stay away from it because. A movie can still be good. Actually, the second Narnia is a very good uh, example of that. People that read the book really hate the second Narnia. People that haven't really liked the second Narnia. And it's one of those things where it's like, I like, or it's another movie called uh, The Ice Storm. Uh, I don't know, maybe you've seen that, but uh, uh, totally different from the book. The movie's really good, but totally different from the book. And the book is really good. And I like the fact it's like these two different art forms. I get the feeling if there, if you read the book first and then you see the movie, the m movie's almost never going to be as good. Sometimes it'll be better, but uh, it's almost never going to be as good. So I, what I usually try, try to do is maybe see the movie and then read the book, um, you know, just so it can be like, oh, I can just see the differences here. Um, but yeah, no, I have, I try to judge them on their own. I try not to take too much away from the, uh, you know, from the film itself. Just as also, just one quick thing about how much like hours or time do you need to spend each week on an episode of Nostalgia Critic? On Nostalgia Critic, it's usually, uh, I mean, keep in mind, I'm doing other uh, videos as well, you know, Bumble Viewer and Ethic or something like that, so uh, usually we take one day to watch it, just, you know, watch it, shout jokes at it, write down notes, one day to actually write it all out, one day to film it, one day to sort of get it in order, edit it together to get all the long pauses and stuff, and uh, then one day, sometimes two, to put the movie in and finally finalize it. So about, I, I usually say about four or four and a half days. I try to give myself a weekend in there too, if possible. It doesn't always work, but, uh, so yeah, about that uh, See if there's anyone I haven't heard. Um, what movie is coming out this year? What movies are on your must-see list? 
Well, now it has to be Cowboys and Aliens. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, no, you know what, I had to see Transformers 3 just to see Chicago get blown off. Because <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I, I've seen, like, you know, we've driven by, and it's just like, oh, hey, there's Bumblebee. <laughs> you know, I mean, so it's, I, I'll probably, uh, I'll check that out. If that trailer, if the one where it's like, you know, it's the person landing on the moon, one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind, it's like, okay, cut it. Let's go for why we're really here. If the movie is like that, it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> I'm just like, no, we're here for a giant robot ship that land. That's like really Neil Armstrong. <laughs> love it, love it. If the rest of the movie is that silly, I would. Um, and that's my problem with the second one. It's just like, oh hey, let's do the first one again. It's like, oh, come on, have fun. Yeah, send them up in space. Have a fight in space. Do something big. You know. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, what other? Big movies are coming out. I can't. Dark Knight Rises. Maybe, you know. I'm glad it's more Orlando Bloom. Um. Secondary Potter. Not, not a Potter method. I don't hate it, I just don't get into it. Um. Actually, one little rant about Harry Potter. Uh, like I said, I don't hate the. Whatever. The, I've never read the book, but I don't know, you know, and I, the movies. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but the funny thing about it is that. You know, when the last film came out, everyone says they're very much like the books. You know, they're really, really dark. You know, they get really, really dark and it's a bloodbath by the end. And, you know, I'm like, dude, that's really messed up. That's really crazy. And everyone's like, no, no, no. Just, she's following the audience. As the audience grows up, the books get more mature. That's great now. What about the kids who are, you know, later, who read the first book? Wow, that was great. I'm going to read the second book right now. That's a little dark. That's like, yeah. Wow! Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the toy, no, even the Toy Story is like, it was still kids' film. They, you know, they never went, they didn't kill off anybody. You know, I mean, it's, they almost, it, it, that's what, I, I'm sort of the Don Blue philosophy, if you have a happy ending, it's like, you can almost get away with murder. But even then, the keyword is almost, not actual. <laughs> so, I'm, uh, so I like dark kids movies, uh, but like, you, gotta, you gotta still have the respect for you know, good storytelling. It's not, don't be dark just to be dark. 